Have you ever wondered how the story of Adam and Eve could have been different if another character was involved? This is a question that may have crossed your mind as we delve into the fascinating narrative of the Garden of Eden. Imagine a paradise, a garden of perfection and harmony, where all of nature coexisted in a beautiful symphony of life. This was the Garden of Eden, the birthplace of mankind, as told in the Bible. Nestled in this paradise we find the first human, Adam, crafted by God himself from the dust of the earth. Adam was not just a creation, he was the epitome of God's image, a living testament to the divine. However, even in paradise, solitude can be a heavy burden to bear. Recognizing this, God decided to create a companion for Adam. From Adam's rib, God created Eve, a woman, to be his partner and equal. Together they lived in harmony, enjoying the fruits of the garden, all but one, the forbidden fruit from the tree of knowledge. Despite the divine prohibition, curiosity got the better of them. Eve, tempted by the serpent, tasted the forbidden fruit, and Adam followed suit. This act of disobedience marked a turning point in their idyllic life. They became aware of their nakedness covering themselves with fig leaves. Consequently, their paradise was lost. God expelled them from the Garden of Eden, marking the beginning of mankind's journey in the world, a world filled with challenges and hardships. This is the story as we know it, the tale of Adam and Eve, the first man and woman. But what if the narrative had a twist? What if Adam had another partner before Eve, a chapter often overlooked in the annals of history, a woman named Lilith whose story is shrouded in mystery and intrigue? But what if I told you that Eve was not Adam's first wife? Enter Lilith, the forgotten first woman. Who is Lilith and why don't we hear about her in the traditional Bible stories? Well, let's dive into the depths of Jewish folklore to uncover the story of this enigmatic figure. Lilith, often shrouded in mystery and intrigue, is a character whose story is as compelling as it is elusive. The story of Lilith begins at the very same time as that of Adam. The scriptures suggest that Lilith was created from the same earth as Adam, making her his equal in every sense. She was not made from Adam's rib, like Eve, but from the same dust and soil. This places her on equal footing with Adam, as a partner, not as a subordinate. However, this equality was not something that sat well with Adam. He expected Lilith to be subservient to him, to be the passive partner in their relationship. But Lilith was a woman of strong will and fierce independence. She had been created equal to Adam and she wanted nothing less than to maintain that equality. Lilith's refusal to be subordinate led to a rift between her and Adam. She was not willing to compromise her independence or her equality for the sake of peace in paradise. And so, she made a choice that would forever mark her as a symbol of rebellion and independence in folklore. Lilith chose to leave the Garden of Eden to leave paradise and the man who would not accept her as an equal. Her departure from Eden was not a punishment, but a choice. She chose to leave the comfort and security of paradise for the uncertainty of the world outside. This act of defiance and determination marks Lilith as a figure of female empowerment and independence. So, why don't we hear more about Lilith in traditional Bible stories? Perhaps it's because her story challenges the established order, the idea of female subservience and obedience. But her story deserves to be told, for it is a powerful reminder of the struggle for equality and the courage it takes to stand up for one's beliefs. Lilith, the independent woman who chose to leave paradise for the sake of her own freedom, so, what happened to Lilith after she left Adam in the Garden of Eden? Well, her rebellion didn't go unnoticed. The story tells us that Lilith was cast out, and in her exile, she was transformed into a creature of the night. This metamorphosis was no minor change. Lilith was not simply banished, but transformed into a figure associated with danger, death, and darkness. From a symbol of independence, she morphed into a feared demoness, a stark warning of the consequences of defiance. In the ancient world there was no shortage of peril and the unknown was often personified in the form of demons and other supernatural entities. Lilith with her rebellious spirit and refusal to conform fit the bill perfectly. She became a scapegoat for the unexplained and the tragic, a figure to blame when things went wrong. She found her way into folk stories and legends, her name invoked to explain the inexplicable. In many of these tales, Lilith was accused of causing infant mortality. The innocent deaths, a profound tragedy in any society, needed an explanation. And who better to blame than the rebellious woman who had defied the natural order? Lilith was also associated with nightmares, those terrifying dreams that seem so real and yet are utterly inexplicable. She was said to be the one who brought these horrifying visions in the night, adding another layer of fear to her legend. 
but perhaps the most striking aspect of Lilith's story is not her transformation into a demon, but the reason behind it. Lilith was not evil by nature, she was made evil by her refusal to submit, her insistence on equality. Her punishment was not for any crime she committed, but for challenging the status quo. Lilith, a symbol of female rebellion and independence, was transformed into a demon by folklore. She serves as a stark reminder of the dire consequences societies can impose on those who dare to question, to defy, and to seek equality. After Lilith left, Adam was alone once again, but not for long. In the lush gardens of Eden, Adam was about to meet a new companion, one who would become an integral part of his life and the lives of all humanity. Enter Eve, the second woman to grace the earth. Unlike Lilith who was created from the same earth as Adam, Eve was fashioned differently, she was made from a part of Adam himself, from one of his ribs. Now why a rib you might ask? Well according to ancient interpretations, the rib, being close to the heart, symbolizes a deep connection and affection while its location under the arm signifies protection. This act of creation from Adam's own body was seen as a sign of Eve's intended role. Unlike Lilith who was created as an equal, Eve was considered subservient to Adam. This was not a matter of superiority or inferiority, but rather a division of roles, as was the thinking of the time. Life for Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden was tranquil. They lived in harmony with nature surrounded by beauty and abundance. The world was their playground, and they had only one rule to follow, not to eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. However as the story goes, curiosity got the better of Eve. She was tempted by a serpent, believed by many to be a manifestation of Lilith, to taste the forbidden fruit. This act of disobedience led to a series of events that would forever change the course of human history. And so the story of Adam and Eve as we know it unfolds, but with the shadow of Lilith looming in the background. As we delve deeper into this tale we'll discover how these three figures, Adam, Eve and Lilith, have shaped our understanding of human nature, relationships, and the perpetual struggle between obedience and rebellion. Lilith might be a forgotten character in biblical stories, but her legacy lives on. As we delve into the fifth chapter of our narrative, we find that Lilith's story did not end in the ancient world. It has evolved and been reclaimed in modern times, casting her as a symbol of female empowerment and independence. Lilith's narrative has been resuscitated and reinterpreted over the centuries, particularly in the context of feminist discourse. Her refusal to submit to Adam's will, to be secondary, has been viewed as an early act of defiance against patriarchal norms. It is this courage, this unyielding spirit that has been celebrated. Lilith has become an emblem of resistance, a testament to the power of a woman standing her ground, even in the face of dire consequences. In literature too, Lilith has found a place. From Dante Gabriel Rossetti's poem Eden Bower to George MacDonald's fantasy novel Lilith, she has been portrayed as a complex character. She is often shown as a strong, independent woman, sometimes even as a wronged heroine, challenging the traditional narrative. Pop culture has not been immune to Lilith's influence either. She's been depicted in countless forms, from comic book characters to television series and films. Whether portrayed as a villain or a misunderstood figure, Lilith continues to capture the imagination of artists and audiences alike. Interestingly, the legacy of Lilith extends beyond the realm of fiction and into the real world. Her name has been invoked in the fight for gender equality, her story used as a rallying cry for those seeking to challenge and change societal norms. Yet, despite these modern reinterpretations, the essence of Lilith's tale remains. She is a figure who dared to defy, to challenge the status quo, and for that, she paid a heavy price. However, it is precisely this defiance that has ensured her story endures, a testament to her enduring influence. Whether viewed as a demon or a symbol of resistance, Lilith's story adds a fascinating layer to the biblical tale of Adam and Eve.